Hey guys, it's Fall and Lorelei. I wanted to make a super quick update to part 3 of my beginner's parallax tutorial. I made that tutorial when MV was still really, really new. I think it was only out for about a week. And so I just did what was readily available at the time and easy to do. <laughs> but today I want to show you a much better way to parallax map, um, much more efficient than before. Um, I'm going to show you how to use a different plugin. This time we're going to use Cow's Ultimate Overlay, which I think is much better, um, especially for a forest map or a forest scene where you're constantly switching maps. Um, bind pictures to map is still pretty good for maybe an interior scene. It's really easy to use, um, but I think Cow's would work a lot better for this. And I'm also going to show you how to make transparent water tiles that you can use again and again for different maps instead of um, outlining the edges. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, if you remember, uh, I had you guys outline the edges and, of the water and put them in our overlay layer, um, like here. All right, and that works, it's fine, um, but I'm gonna show you a much easier way to do it. You won't even have to outline this anymore. So we can actually get rid of them. We don't need them anymore. Um, when you do get rid of them though, make sure that you still have whatever is on top of the water that's still important, like these trees here. All right, and we already have um, our rocks and our plants in the overlay layer, but make sure if you have any trees that go on top of the water that they're still um, in that overlay layer. Okay, but then you can hide the actual actual outline. All right, so let's get started with the water uh, first. So what we're gonna do is go to File Open in our Photoshop, find our Tile Sets folder, and we're going to open outside A1, this one here. Okay, and this is all of our waters. Um, what we're gonna do first is go to Image, duplicate. All right. And doesn't matter what you call it right now. Just press okay. And this has made a duplicate of that image so that we can mess around with this without messing up the original. So you can actually close out of the original. We don't want to touch that. All right. So here, make sure that your grid is on. All right. And you also want snap on. It just makes things easier. What we're going to do is with our marquee tool, we're going to highlight uh, this water here that we had been using and you're going to right click and go to layer via cut. Uh, this is optional but it works best for me. <laughs> Alright, and once that's a new layer you're going to find your magic wand tool All right, and you're going to put it at a really high tolerance. Right now I have 57 um, but 55 to 60 should work and just click any of the grass that you see. And go ahead and zoom in to make sure that um, you didn't select too much of the rock. You still want the rock in your selection, or outside of your selection. Um, 57 looks like it works pretty well for me. Let's try 55 just to see. 55 is good too. <laughs> Alright, so with that selected, just press delete. And voila, we have transparent water tiles. Okay. So now we're going to save this. We're going to uh, save for web just because that makes it a smaller file size. And when we're parallax mapping, our file size is going to be huge. So we should save whatever file size we can, right? Uh, just click save and we're going to go to our tile sets and save it in here. We're going to call it outside A12. And I already have this because I did it earlier, um, but I'll save it again and I'll replace it just for you guys. Okay, there. Now we have our uh, transparent water as a tile set. Go to RPG Maker and go to your database and we're going to make a new, let me delete this, clear it. <laughs> we're going to make a new tile set just to use uh, our new outside. What we're, how we're going to do that is we're going to copy outside, all right, and we're going to make sure we have seven um, tile sets here, so change maximum to seven and just click paste. Okay, easy. So now all the settings are the same. You won't have to play with those anymore. Uh, the only thing we're going to change is under Images A1, we're going to go to Images, Outside A2 with our transparent water. And that's all. That's all we have to do. Ta-da! Oh, and we should probably change the name of it. <laughs> Outside 2. All right. Okay, 
So before we go to the next part, I'm going to go ahead and make my map. Uh, I'll keep it under first tutorial ever. Uh, call it new, updated, part three. And our tile set is going to be outside two, the new one we just made. And everything else was default, so I'll just leave it as it is. Okay? Now the next part is um, going to be different from bind pictures to map. We're going to open up our map. All right, and we have our overlay still, and we have our like full image still. All right, and hopefully you already have that. If not, uh, just just watch along. <laughs> All right, um, go ahead and save this image. We're gonna export for web. We're gonna save it into Parallaxes, and doesn't matter what you call it. In fact, we already have it saved here, don't we? But I'll save it again. Um, as what do I want to call it? Updated part three. All right, save that into parallaxes. That was the parallaxes folder. And now what we're going to do is we're going to hide underneath and we're going to save our overlay layer. Now this is important. Uh, when you save the overlay layer, you need to know the name of the map. Okay, the ID of the map that you're going to be using this in. So we're going to be using it in updated part three, this new map here. And you can see that the ID for this map is 13. All right, that's at the bottom here. You can also go to um, edit the properties and see that in the top here. ID is 13. All right, that's important. So with our overlay open, we're going to save for web. All right, and we're going to call it something very specific. We're going to be calling it par. 13, okay? Par means it's the overlay, like parallax, all right? And then 13 is the name of our um, ID, of uh, the name of our map, okay? And then just click save. All right, easy. So now what we're going to do is edit our map. For the parallax background, we're going to put it at um, updated part three or whatever you want to call it. Um, you could also, we should have, I'm stupid, <laughs> we should have named it with an exclamation point at the front. Um, I didn't have to because this map is not going to scroll. But if your map is going to scroll, you need to put an exclamation point at the front. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't do that. All right, but anyway, um, click OK and click OK and we're good. Now what we're going to do is uh, put in our water Okay, we have our transparent water here, and we're just going to fill in the water like this. It's a little harder to see, but with practice it gets a lot easier. And we don't really have that much water, so it's fine. And then we can put in our whoops, waterfall, like that, and that's it. That's all we had to do. Easy, right? Um, now what we want to do is put the overlay in our map because right now it's just the background layer. Uh, to do that, you're going to uh, edit your map again and in the note here, you're going to put into little brackets, par. And that's it. That's all you have to do. And press OK. If you go into uh, Cal's help file, you can see all the different kinds of overlays. You can have ground, uh, power, light, and shadow. We only have uh, the parallax layer. We only have the overlay layer, so that's the only thing we're going to be showing. Okay. Um, in a future tutorial, I'm going to show how to add a lot more of these. I think this weekend I'm, I'm going to get that out, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> Alright, so just press OK, OK. Um, that's pretty much all we have to do, except for the region restrictions, um, which I'm still using. I really like the region restrictions so much easier than what I was doing before. Um, there are other ways to walk around the map, especially if you have, um, if you notice that you don't want your character walking on top of walls and maybe the region restrictions aren't helping with that. Uh, there is a way you can add a tile set with passability settings that you can have more specific movement um, on your map. But for this, I'm just going to keep it with the region restrictions because it's super easy and it doesn't take too much time. But hopefully at some point I can get a tutorial out there that shows you how to make it a tile set with more specific settings. And just to save on time, I'm just going to do that. All right. <laughs> So let's see if it worked. Fingers are crossed. Okay. 
All right, well, the water is animated, and it doesn't look terrible. We still have our overlay. The trees are on top of the water. And we can move around, and I'm behind this tree here. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> All right, and I didn't make any more movement, so this is the only place we can go right now. All right, I think that's all I wanted um, to tell you today. I am going to make a new tutorial, like I said, this weekend, um, making a huge forest. It's going to be a lot of fun, um, but it's important that we're using Cow's Ultimate Overlay uh, because with Find Pictures to Map, if you ever move move maps, like if we left up here or down here, we'd have to erase image and then show image and or show picture, erase picture um, constantly, and that's kind of annoying <laughs> after a while. With Cow's Ultimate Overlay, you don't have to do that. It's an automatic overlay for just ID uh, 13, just for the map, right, that we wanted it to be in. So that's pretty much it. Um, yeah. If you have any suggestions for a tutorial, I'm almost out of ideas, guys. I mean, I can make parallax maps all day long. I mean, I find myself uh, just mapping for the fun of it. I'm not even working on any games right now. Um, so if you have any ideas for me, just let me know. Um, sorry for the delay in adding videos recently. I got the flu last week during Thanksgiving. It was terrible, and I'm still, like, really tired. Um, but I'm glad that I could get this video out to you today, at least. Uh, so yeah, just let me know, uh, and I'll, I'll try to get on it. Thanks, guys. See you later.